Welcome back to the Freelancers Tea Break, the short and sweet podcast for freelancers to enjoy with a cuppa. Now, cast your mind back to just before you went freelance. Did you have any big plans for the perks of freelancing? Did you dream about enjoying flexi time, yearn to hit the post office or supermarket when it was quiet? Or maybe you had a mental image of perfectly balancing freelancing and family life like the love child of Mary Portis and Mary Poppins. It's so easy to think we'll take advantage of all those benefits of having, in theory, control of when, how much and who you work with and having very clear boundaries between work and life. But life is messy sometimes. And sometimes we're working in the evenings when we're suffering with our mental or physical health earlier in the day. Sometimes we're answering emails when we should be listening to our child discuss which Paw Patrol pup is the best. It's Everest, by the way. First of all, don't beat yourself up. No one has the balance down perfectly. Certainly not consistently over time. We constantly have to adapt, so don't aim for perfection. Sometimes it's worth taking a step back and looking at where you'd like to be. What would you like to do more of and what would you like to be doing less of? Then think of the three small changes that you could make to achieve that. So for me, I'm just about settling into the routine of freelancing during school hours. And it's made me realise that I need to work out what things are essential for me to do and what things I can outsource. I'm also making sure that three nights a week are blocked out for reading. Laptop and phone left on the shelf. Finally, I'm having a declutter of my feeds and subscriptions to reduce all that noise, which can be a little bit overwhelming. So now I'm challenging you. Are you taking advantage of the freedoms and balance options of freelancing? What three things could you do to add more balance into your life? If you're looking for more ideas, come over and join us in the Freelance Lifestylers Facebook group. We always have discussions about balance and how to do things like that. And we also have challenges like every month I challenge all of our members to make sure they book in something fun for that month. Otherwise, you're just going to end up working all the time and not having any time off. I hope you enjoyed this episode. To find out a little bit more about the Freelance Lifestyle, hop on over to freelancelifestyle.co.uk.